Let's play beer pong with Power Pong at the Nightclub and Bar Show 2015. You're watching YBL TV. This seems easy because I love beer pong, but tell me what we have here. What, what we have here is actually the world's first completely self-contained beer pong table. What this does is allow a bar to have a fully coin-operated dollar bill validator ready unit that will be self-contained into a corner that allows for full sanitary and legal ways of playing beer pong in a bar. The best thing about this is at the end of the day we're going to be increasing social interaction in the bar as well as we're going to be able to increase possibly the bar revenue which is the end goal of having a product like this. Though that's a serious win-win. The consumer's happy having fun, the business is making money. So how did this come about? What's the idea? Uh, well, actually, we've been we've been manufacturing games for 15 years in the industry, amusement industry. Uh, Dave and Buster's, Chuck E. Cheese, things like that. We're actually in about 40 plus countries around the world currently. We were approached by a gentleman, uh, Ryan. He actually came to us with a patent that he had. He was working on, needed the assistance to actually manufacture, design, and actually create this device. So we were able to team up together with him and really work together to make this. You know what beer pong is, and you definitely know that there's an interest for it, at least in our market and international market. And we thought we'd take a stab at it and see what we could do. And that's what you're looking at here is the world's first coin operated, fully self contained power pong beer pong table. Is there a reason not to root for you? I love it. We hope we have people are rooting for us. We're actually pretty excited about it. We're uh, on social media now on Twitter on bar, uh, at Bar Pong as well as on Facebook at Power Pong. I'm sure the businesses are ready to jump on this right away. The income is going to be, you know, rolling on in. So. There's lots of ways a bar makes income on this. See, they can actually sell the game by itself and make a direct dollar or two dollar, whatever they want to charge. They also have the ability to actually logo the ball itself because you need a ball to play it. The ball becomes a souvenir for the customer to take home. So now they have this ball, they can keep it. They play again, now the game is actually cheaper because you can buy the game and a ball or you can just buy the game by itself or you can buy the ball as well. The other thing is that some of the places are putting free beer or whatever on the ball. There's a dispensing unit inside, so it's mixed up in there, and at any moment, it might pop out a ball that says free beer. They're able to go to the bar, get a free beer. Again, it gives encouragement to keep playing, more money to the bar, and at the end of the day, they're going to make more revenue. We have the ability to even go away from income direct into the game. Okay. So you could do some sponsorship type things where they're able to have at the bar two pitchers, you get the game for free, or you're able to sell time on the game where it's unlimited, no problems whatsoever. Kind of like what they do in pool halls now, 20 minutes, 30 minutes time incre increments, and it'll recycle over and just keep playing until their time is up. All pre-programmed inside for the operator. So, Sky's the limit for you Sky then. Sky's the limit. Sky's definitely the limit.